The Auditor General has issued three material irregularities against the Ngaka Mudiri uh, Mulema District Municipality. This after the Northwest Municipality's management failed to deliver on several water supply and sewerage projects. If remedial action is not taken, the AG can issue a certificate of debt, which may see officials being held personally responsible for the district's irregular expenditure. To discuss more of this, we're joined by the district mayor, Kumalo Molefe, who joins us live now. Uh, Ms. Molefe, thank you so much for your time this evening. Some really serious um, allegations coming at you from uh, quite an important office, that being of the Auditor General. And there's talk um, of uh, whether uh, there will be an issue of a certificate of debt, which is rather serious. But what's even more serious uh, is that it seems that there's been a lack of remedial action uh, on issues that have really had a very uh, negative impact on the day-to-day -day lives of so many people in the communities that you look after. Uh, your reaction to the news from the Auditor General? Good evening. Um, thank you very much. Um, and to your viewers, well, we are six months in office. What we are responding to and acting upon is what we have inherited. We have inherited an ailing municipality, which has, uh, on on successive occasions, uh, uh, received uh, a, an adverse opinion for three consecutive years. Uh, so we are alive to this situation. We are aware of the merit material irregularities uh, raised by the Auditor General. I must indicate that from the word go, we have had sessions with the Auditor General. We are working well with the Auditor General. We have been briefed about the material irregularities. We have put a process plan uh, to address them, and we hope not to arrive at the moment where a certificate has been issued. I can indicate uh, one of the areas where a material irregularity has been raised is on the question of water tankering. And I can indicate to you that we have already addressed the question of the material irregularity in that we have totally done away with outsourced water tankering. We are now doing in-sourced water tankering with our own tanks. So we, we have, we are, as I speak to you, an investigation on all the three uh, material irregularities is unfolding and will be the report of the investigation, independent as it is, will be tabled before the ordinary council that is coming. Uh, and now the, the allegations are quite serious. There's talk of mismanagement, underinvestment, lack of leadership. Uh, and then uh, there is the day-to-day, the, day, the failed water supply, sewerage management uh, issues, raw sewerage uh, running into the rivers and the wetlands, and, and the list goes on. Uh, it's encouraging to hear the investigations underway, but... Uh, uh, previous people in your position who'd probably, many of them would have come from uh, uh, the same parties, are, uh, if the investigation finds that there were serious and indeed criminal irregularities at play here, um, how determined are you to follow up um, on that and ensure that justice prevails? We are all governed by the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, none of us is above the law. Anybody found to be uh, on the wrong side of the law will have to face the consequences. However, in doing so, again, we will abide by the law and give each and every citizen a fair administrative uh, justice. And therefore, people will be given a hearing proper tribunals will be established so that people can can be given an opportunity uh, to account. Uh, and now, with the recent report released by the Auditor General, um, it's quite shocking in that many uh, municipalities were unable uh, to serve up a clean audit, including, including yours. How committed uh, are, are you in, and your colleagues uh, in those positions to ensure that you turn things around, not just for the sake of the books, but for the sake of uh, the members of your various communities who just want clean water? Look, I can assure you and I can put my neck on the block. We, we will turn the situation around. One, we're already addressing the issues raised by the Auditor General. 
One of the issues is that there was lack of oversight, poor leadership. We have uh, uh, put control measures in place. We've appointed an audit committee and an internal audit committees are in place. We have now uh, uh, equipped uh, the Municipal uh, Public Accounts Committee. It is chaired, chaired by a party other than the ruling party, which shows that we are on the right direction. The biggest problem that the Auditor General flagged was the issue of the Budget and Treasury Office. Uh, our budget is about 1.6 million. If you look at it and lo look at how our municipality is structured, we are executing that budget through SCM, that is Supply Chain Management Unit, which is meant by six people, uh, half of which the Auditor General say they do not meet the requirements. What are we doing about it? We've already advertised all the vacant positions in the Supply Chain Management Unit, and we will be fi uh, filling those positions with sheer competence and, and, and qualified people. With regard to the post-audit action plan, we used to have a post-audit action plan on a side as the by-the-way issue. We are now operationalizing it. We've adopted the IDP and the budget. We are now doing what is called the service delivery budget implementation plan. And all the issues raised by the Auditor General will form part of the the SDB, which is the, the, the Service Delivery Budget Implementation Plan. So we are able to uh, measure them, we are able to monitor them. With regard to water, if you go to Mahikeng and the neighboring communities, when we got into office, water was brown. We intervened through our operations and maintenance. We have restored the quality of water. I must admit, we are still struggling with the question of sanitation in Sanizov, in Otostal, Bisisflay, and Colini. As I speak, our teams are on the ground par prioritizing uh, this area. Okay, we're going to leave it there. That's District Mayor Kumalo Mulefe joining us live there. We thank him for his time.